So here's how to liquefy an image in Canva. It's very easy to do, and if you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description where you can either start Canva for free or use that for easier login access. Here I am on the dashboard when we're going to be creating our design, whatever it's going to be. I'm gonna grab this picture of this turtle under the sea here doing its thing. I'm gonna put it in the center and let's liquefy this. What we do is click on it so that you can see this edit photo section right here. So let's click here. And there's actually gonna be a liquify section. If you don't see it, we might have to be using the older editor right here. I personally like this one, it says right here, it's gonna be changing eventually. So uh, keep in mind, you just might have to search for it a little bit more. I just prefer the old one since I'm used to it so much. Uh, let's go to the old editor. Let's go back here, edit image. All right, so let's scroll down ever so slightly until we see liquify, which is right here. Let's click on liquify. Of course, if you haven't used it yet, you're gonna to have to click on the open just to accept that, so let's do that. And just like that, we have a bunch of settings. So not only can we just kind of go through and choose which ones we wanna use, we can edit them as well. So that's shake, this is gonna be flow, smear, smudge, melt, whirl, spin, and wobble. So let's say we wanted to do shake. What we can do is click on C controls here, and if we wanna change the distort of this, like if it's crazier, I guess you could say. If you want fine distort, where it's a little bit more fine, okay, in the middle, and then we have roll speed. I'm not too familiar with that. Okay, so it's kind of moving it up and down, but once you find the setting that you want to utilize, this is gonna make it crazier, okay? You just simply click on apply. And that's how you can liquefy an image in Canva, thanks to the actual liquefy section that they have. Pretty much the biggest thing here is just gonna be finding it, because if you're on the new editor or the old one, you just kinda kinda search for it. But nevertheless, that's the tutorial, and if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up, as it helps me out a lot as well. My name is James, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.